That's it. She's now late. I'm going to bed. Hi, I Roma, mean, just a few more minutes, okay? I should be here any second. I'm not holding my breath. Well, she's being pretty persistent with the phone call. She just wants to make things up with you, so just wait. Yeah, she'll come over, apologize, and stuff everything up again. You can give her points for trying. Ten more minutes. That's it. Hello. Now, what's the door? There you go. Careful, careful, careful. You really are a very sweet man. Huh? Just remind me next time to leave you a really big tip. Yeah, I'll remind you. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Stewart. No Take worries, mate. <laughs> So you're coming straight around, Mum. I was, but I ran into John and asked him for some advice. Please tell me you're not talking about John Palmer. Of course I was. I mean, I am talking. <clears throat> what advice did you get from him? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> I should come straight over, shouldn't I? Sorry. Forget it. I know I wanted to talk to you, though. Let's just leave it until morning, okay, Mum? She sleeps like a log. I guess she'll even hear it. You know, Jill kind of reminds me of my mum. That's a worry. How? She's her own worst enemy. I mean, I know that she loves me and all of that, but most of the time she just lives in her own selfish world and she can't see how much she hurts the people around her. Yeah, well, there's a difference. It's mum's choice to drink. So if she can't see what she's doing, it's because she doesn't want to or doesn't care. Well, she keeps coming after you, doesn't she? Even after you did everything to shut her out, she keeps coming back. Yeah, I know. The thing is, she keeps coming back drunk. What is that? Just some stuff she'll need when she wakes up. You ready? Uh, well, you're not just going to leave her like that, are you? It's not like she's got anything important to do today. Oh, that's hey, how's it going? Good. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that stuff about your mum. Oh, that's okay. We have a lot in common when it comes to families. I wouldn't boast about that if I was you. Don't let your mum get you all bitter. Okay, I've been there and I've done that and it's really not that fun. I'll keep it in mind. No, I'm being serious. You're better than that. Yeah, in fact, you're probably one of the nicest guys that I know, and nice is rare. Yeah, all right, don't get carried away. Unless you want to call me the hottest guy you know as well. <laughs> We're okay. <laughs> nice try, Todd. Okay, can you keep the Todd stuff to a minimum? I really don't want anyone knowing. Sure, Todd. Because Romeo is so much cooler. So you're going to work things out with your mum? I've given her that many second chances. I don't know if i got any left in me. But she's my mum, so I'm sure I will find a way to forgive her again. And you still have your nice boy reputation to keep up, remember? Yeah, there's that too. You know, I, I seriously cannot believe I went into bat for that guy. Jenna, you just got to forget about him, okay? He's proven once and for all how much of a jerk he is. You just need to move on. Seriously, put it all behind you. I want to see my son. Uh, you've been drinking. Just a little bit, so what's wrong with that? Uh, no, 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 no. We, we can more than a... Ah, there you are. No, no, no. Now no, you know, no. I wanted to talk to you. Okay, guys, go, go, go. Go home, go home, go home. Go home. Bring your bags here. All right, everyone. Time to go home, people. Be fine. Please. All right. Okay. Stupid bags. Let's get you on the couch. Now she can sit up at the table. 
I want to get some coffee into her and then she's out of here. Are you throwing me out? I know you're upset, but I said sorry. They're just words, Mum. They don't mean anything. You can sober up a bit, go back to your hotel, and then leave town. Don't you want me here, Todd? Stop calling me that. And since you ask, no, I don't. But I'm your mother. And I'm your son. And you shouldn't treat me like this. You totally embarrass me. And Miles, for goodness sakes, he works at the school. It's all right, man. I don't mind. You I do. Not to mention all the trouble you've been causing for Mrs. Austin. When I first arrived in this town, I had nowhere else to go. Miles and Mr. Stewart took me in. When I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, Mrs. Austin convinced me to go back to school. And you repay them by turning up everywhere they were, drunk, causing trouble. I didn't mean to, I just slipped, that's all. Because you got wasted, just like you did last night and the night before that. Why do you have to be like this? Why can't you just be normal? You know why! You can't keep playing that card, Mum. I went through exactly the same things you did, and I don't act that way. Even Mink doesn't. You know what? I don't care. Drink yourself, stupid. Just do it somewhere else. The sooner you're out of the bay in my life, the better. The sooner the better! Is your mother at the bottom of this? <laughs> I thought so. That woman is a born troublemaker. Do you know that? What would you know about anything? More than I'd like to. She's been nothing but a nuisance to me and Jean Rivers since she arrived in town. Yo, I'm sorry, but what my mum does has nothing to do with me. Yeah, well, I'm looking at a mashed up sandcastle that begs to differ. You know, I'm just so over it all. I know how you feel. Really? Yeah, I've been there myself. My old man was a drunk. He wasn't mean or violent or anything. Just pathetic. What happened to him? He drank himself into an early grave. You see, he had this talent of turning everything that came his way, good, bad or indifferent, into another reason to write himself off. It sounds like Mum. He was my dad and I loved him and everything, but... Oh, he hurt me... so many times. In the end, I just gave up on him. Then, bang, he was gone. I wish I'd tried harder to help him. What could you have done? Talk to him, tried to get him off the booze. Do you think that could have done any good? It might have. The kids can be pretty powerful motivators. Now, I can't see that sister of yours helping out. Now, you're all your mum's got. Now, if you give up on her, what chance has she got? Well, it's up to her, isn't it? No, it's up to you. If you do nothing, the regret will be much worse. Trust me, I know. Mum won't listen to me. Well, fine, if she runs, let her go. But if she stays, and she might actually want that, then at least you know you've tried. I don't know if I can do it. You took me on, and I'm no wilting pilot. I think you can handle it. Wow. 